Well, the cancelling of Russia is food and any one Russian is going full steam ahead with much of the cancelling so far only hurting people in this country. Yes, you all likely know corporations are hurting their own bottom line and customers while Boris and his commie government have gone sanction crazy with constant virtue signalling cringe to back it all up. But by now you likely know that Chelsea owner and Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich has been sanctioned which in turn sanctions Chelsea Football Club and the fans. This, I have to say, is going to a whole new level of stupidity and hypocrisy, but we'll get into that in a moment. Now, as I said, the cancel Russia train is at full speed ahead, with not only government figures and those connected with them being targeted, but literally anything Russian alive or dead, like I said. In fact, some idiots are even saying the government should take all their money and give it to charity, which is not only ridiculous, it's also a bloody slippery slope. With that sort of precedent there, it's only a couple of short steps away from them being able to take everything you own just because you disagree with them on something, could it be net zero or anything else. As many of you likely know, the willful ignorance of people is becoming embarrassing to live through, but this latest move here, stopping fans buying tickets or getting the shirt, is beyond bloody insane and only affects our economy and country, not Russia or Putin. Now while as I've said before I don't care for rich knee bending cuck players I have to take issue with the fans being punished for the actions of government and people that has got fuck all to do with them. This is people here in the UK being punished for the actions of Putin and the reaction of our simple minded politicians who yet again bow to media pressure because you can be sure the media have played a big part in getting this done. For years, lefty toss pots like Ash the Car and the entire media circus have wanted this to happen and now they are celebrating it and asking for more. Though, to be honest, they're doing that because the government and many media outlets are completely ignoring the fact that the Saudis own Manchester City Football Club as we speak. You know, the country that has a great human rights record and is currently bombing Yemen with help of various nations, including the US and UK, but also on top of that, fighting alongside ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Yes, the so-called enemy terrorist organisations our governments hate so much are fighting on the same side as us in Yemen, which, as I said, has the Saudis bombing the gaff often. So the hypocrisy and selective outrage is bloody laughable as you know, but really what I care about is the insanity of these sanctions that affect people here in the UK who are not involved with it at all. Do I care that people are bombing Yemen? No, I don't. And do I care that they want to sanction some rich Russian guy? No, I bloody don't either. What I do care about is the lunacy of governments anywhere in the world affecting the people here who either play no part in it or want no part in it like most people do. Plus, as many people might be asking, what is the Chelsea owner's actual crime here that we're dealing with? What's he been convicted of or anything like that? Is it just knowing Putin or some shit? Because how many of these rich and famous tosspots know Epstein or Jimmy Savile, I have to wonder. If it's guilt by association, then let's go wild on it and have the friends of celebrity nonces getting sanctioned and see how they like it. Now, for any fans of Chelsea out there, the club will be fine, I've got to tell you. They will sort this out and the club will be sold on. Normal service will resume, likely within a few weeks as the process is rammed through. The club will be out to buy players in the summer and all of this. Life will go on much how it has done before. Obviously, you might not have the same owner as you do now. But, as I've said, this is only a few short steps before they make it so they can take our shit. So be careful supporting it is all I'm gonna say. We're off! <laughs>